So we see the transformation stories of our patients. We see the before and after pictures. It's very dramatic and amazing and incredible to be a part of. But when you're talking about medical providers and healthcare structures, what, what is hope for them? It's so easy to forget how privileged we are at home. Here, people do their job with so much less. So capacity building would be helping the country build their capacity to deliver healthcare. So how can you strengthen, grow, support a health system? There's lots of components in that. If you ask any of the nurses or any of the doctors that we work with, they became nurses and they became doctors because they want to help people. And the biggest frustration that they have is that they can't. They don't have the equipment, they don't have the materials, they don't have the expertise to be able to really help the people that are in front of them that are hurting. Our goal is to help fill in the gaps of some of their training and, and to come alongside them to help them serve their own people better. It's about giving people the skills to then take into their daily practice and build their confidence and their skills from there. <laughs> You will be surprised when we talk about agriculture with mercy ships, but all goes together. We emphasize on how to produce organic food so that we can have a good nutrition to have a sound health. <laughs> One of our greatest strengths is we have a wonderful relationship with the government. We're very privileged that we know the government, we have good relationships and they welcome us. I think there's the potential for really changing things here. It's a really, really good thing to be involved with.